The barrel was cleaned after every five shot series. Caldwell's DFT-2 lead sled was used with two 25-pound bags of lead shot. CZ's American Safari 550 was the rifle used. Shot at 85 yards. Due to a lack of proper Leopold 100-yard uh, targets, I instead used a 25-yard pistol target with a butcher paper backer, and instead of shooting quite distally like the red dot did between groups, these shot within the same relative area, so I had to go back later after the paper target was destroyed by the wind and use photographs to figure out where the group shot. G1, or group 1 for green dot, was 11 and a half grains, our starting load. Standard deviation for the five shot group was 12.23. Average Velocity was 1,169.4 feet per second. Average energy was 803 foot-pounds. It ended up shooting a total 2.5 inch group. However, three of those shots were within a 3 quarter inch group of each other when measured. So three of the shots showed quite a potential for accuracy, but two shots that opened up the group quite a bit. Still, there may be potential for accuracy. We may try this one again due to those three bullets and their performance. G2, or green dot 2, was 12 and a half grains of green dot. Standard deviation for the five shot group was 9.25. Average velocity was 1,226.2 feet per second, with an average energy of 881 foot-pounds. It ended up shooting a three inch group, G3, or green dot 3, with 14 grains of green dot, ended up having a standard deviation of 9.41. Average velocity was 1,313.8 feet per second. Average energy was 1,012 foot-pounds. This ended up throwing the largest group at three and a half inches. The most disappointing, G4 or green dot 4, had a maximum load of 15.5 grains had the closest standard deviation of all four tested groups at 3.42. Average velocity was 1,391.8 feet per second. Average energy was 1,136 foot-pounds. It shot the closest total overall five-shot group at 2 and 3 eighths inch. It's interesting that once again we notice that our maximum load had the high had the closest standard deviation same thing with r3 and our red dot test we did previously however unlike the red dot the green dot showed a consistent amount a uh, consistent grouping of around two and a half inches in or around to three inches and was more accurate at higher velocity although the light load did not provide the same close grouping as R1 in our red dot test did. The green dot showed more potential for higher energy performance, which may be useful in some light hunting loads. However, I will remark that the leading increased as the velocity did. The three shots that we saw in G1 coming in at three quarter inch of each other shows that the lower velocity still has the greatest potentiality for accuracy even though the high velocity group came in at the closest total five shot group. We will continue more testing to determine whether it is the effect of the powder or if the cut heel gas check bullet, sans gas check, simply cannot stabilize at higher velocity and thus lower velocity is the key to accuracy with these types of loads with this particular bullet without the gas check or if it's an effect of higher amounts of fast burning powder. Others have remarked that fast burning powders are simply less accurate in cast loads as the load goes up, even if the load itself is safe. So further testing may prove that it is either the fact that we're not using a plane based bullet or if it's simply the natural effect of greater amounts of fast burning powder which is throwing off our accuracy as the loads go up.